Hey YouTube, it's Mitch at iPhoneCaptain.com. Today we're doing the best tweaks of the week. The first one we're looking at here is called Impulse for $1.99. And this is a very cool tweak as it lets you control your music even after your device is locked. And you can even keep continue controlling after the device continues to be locked. You don't have to unlock it to stop the music, start the music, or jump ahead of track or back of track. I'll show you all that just in a second. It is re uh, compatible with all devices on iOS 7, and it comes with its own settings panel inside of the, pre the uh, settings app, and I'll show you more about that as we get into it here. So first of all, I'm just gonna go ahead and lock the device, as you saw right there. The device is locked. Now, simply by just two taps, I can turn the music on, I can turn it off. And that first tap is, is like a security type deal, just in case you accidentally pick the device up or you touch it, you know, it won't automatically activate the music. That only made sense for me to do, for the developer to add that in there. Now, if you wanna go to the next track, first let's see which song's playing. So now we're gonna tap and swipe to the right. And that's gonna get us the next track. So you hear what's playing. So if we were wanted to stop it, we could just double tap. Now one tap, swipe to the right. And you see it goes to the next track. Let's do it again. And it does take just a second for it to load up. And it was Michael Jackson. I just that's all I can tell you about that one. So if we come in here, here's this secure tap I was telling you about. You can turn that on and off. Um, but it, to me, it just only makes sense to have it there. Here is what they're calling your idle threshold. So I have it set to a minute simply because I was doing the video. But keep in mind, the longer you run this, the harder it's going to be on your battery. So if you set this thing to forever, it's going to always be sitting there waiting for you to touch or swipe for it to be able to start or stop or, or, or go to the next track or whatever it is it needs to do. So keep that in mind. It will use a little more battery than normal if you put it on a higher threshold. Uh, but so far, just using it here around the house a little bit, I haven't had any problems with it at all. You can also invert your gestures. You know, when you swipe through pages, you know, you sort of swipe to the left to go to the next page. So if you wanted to swipe to the left to go to the next song, then you would just simply turn on invert gestures and you would have that feature available to you. And you can also set here for ignore music. Uh, it says by default, the idle threshold doesn't kick in when locking your device while no music is playing effectively rendering impulse inactive after a few seconds so if you want to if you want it to continue to be sort of listening i guess is the other word i can think of for you to swipe or start the music then you probably would want to turn that on so it would be uh, listening even when there was no music playing so if there's music playing, it knows to be listening, but if there's no music playing at all, like right now, then it has no reason to, to be listening, you know. Okay, guys, the next one we're looking at is called Colorful KBD Pro. There is a free version out there, but this one is 99 cents, and it just allows you a lot more customization. As you can see here, my keyboard looks very awesome. I'm a very big lover of this jailbreak tweak so if you even tap the shift button it will change the color of spacebar and all of the uh, labels on the bottom row you see but if we close back out and then come back in you see we'll get a different color keyboard this time so it's called colorful kbd pro and if you go into the settings here, you'll see that you got some things you can change in Colorful KBD Pro. You can add a background image that uh, lays in behind all your keys if that's something you'd want to do. Here you can change the hue, the brightness, and the saturation of all those colors. So we'll just fiddle around. We'll turn some things down and now come back out and go back in. And you see it looks a bit different. It looks a bit 
not as bright as it was. So if that's something you want to do, you can fiddle around with those uh, controls your own self. The next one is called Scrub Around Free, and uh, this is free, of course, and it allows you to scrub through your music. It just simply adds a little round scrubber bar in your music rather than having that little line you see there. So if we go ahead and start our music playing, and you see that it's playing, and we come back out, we go to our lock screen. Up there at the top now, you see we have the little round knob, and it makes it just a lot easier to scrub through our music. Okay, that's all that is. Scrub around free. It is free. The next one's called Type and Talk. It's free as well. And what this one does, guys, is it allows you to use your keyboard even while you're using dictation. Normally when you tap the dictation uh, icon there on your keyboard, it brings up this sort of like a wave that's moving as you talk. So now we type dictation and you can see we can still use the keyboard to type. Okay, and then when we hit the dictation key again, it'll put in there what we were just speaking in, and that's exactly what we were speaking. That one's called type and talk. Guys, it's been a pretty slow week. That's all we've had this week. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button on your way out. It really does show us support. Share this video and keep coming back.